the web is going mad about uh, no boil pasta to save energy. Does it work? Does it change the taste? Does it change the texture? Let's find out. Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. Ciao a tutti. At the moment, we all try to save uh, energy because of the current crisis. And so some Italian uh, scientists, they suggest that we can happily, safely, beautifully cook our pasta without the heat on in uh, hot water boiling water and uh, we just turn the heat off and the pasta according to them works uh, perfectly well so shall we find out i've got the pasta out of the cupboard and we can select uh, a couple of packets a couple of shapes because we've got to make a couple of experiments if you want to know about the science behind pasta cooking watch until the end now we got the linguine um, special spaghetti, rigatoni, normal spaghetti, penne. I chose two things. First of all, more or less the same cooking time. So these two packets about 10 minutes and different shapes to see if they work in a different way in different uh, uh, conditions. We have two saucepan full of boiling water. So I brought the water to the boiling point. One and two. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the pasta in. This water has got salt as well. I'm going to put the lid on top and I bring it back to the boiling point again. Second, just put spaghetti. I'm going to bend them. I'm going to move them because we don't want them to stick. Cooking time, 10 minutes for both of them. So we could set 10 minutes. Lid on top. This one is the boiling point. I stir them so they don't stick. Boiling point. Boiling point. Turn it off. And wait 10 minutes. Pasta pronta. Let's see the result of this experiment. Number one. I put here. A bit of sauce to test. I made a sauce because uh, probably it's more natural as an experiment. If you want to have the recipe for the sauce, it uh, will be linked. I'm leaving the link in the description box and above. Shall I try it? I'll try with the penne first. Perfectly cooked, I tell you. Works very well. They're hot. Let me check the temperature here. Very hot. The temperature is nearly 90 degrees Celsius. The boiling point is 100 uh, degrees Celsius or 212 uh, Fahrenheit. So that one was uh, just under 90 Celsius. But also you've taken the lid off for a bit and so it was probably 100 when it was cooking still. It was cooking 100, then the, the temperature slowly goes down. I'm trying the spaghetti now because uh, uh, this is more complicated. We want them al dente and uh, Nice. Better we rescue this pasta and have lunch now. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. After all these experiments, what is the outcome? I thought that the first impression was good. So I had the first bite was great, was kind of nicely cooked. But then the second bite had uh, a second thought because it's not like the pasta we eat all the time. Then I had a bowl of pasta fish my dish there and uh, it's fine but it's not the real thing. I'm sorry but it is. I know that we have to save energy is fine and I agree with that but nevertheless 
if you want a gourmet pasta dish, you need to follow the rules. And what do you think, Celia? I found it uh, a bit flabby. Uh, yeah. It was, I mean, it was al dente, but it wasn't al dente. It's like the, the pasta absorbs more water. I, I don't so. understand how and probably chemically it's wrong, but it feels more water, it feels heavier. And I don't know, I'm, it, it's just not so good. I mean, it's it's fine. Uh, you, you probably save money in two ways because I think you leave less pasta because it's kind of it's, flabby and filling. Yeah, it's very filling. Actually, I feel quite full from one bowl of pasta. But the important thing, it is well cooked, but it is not al dente in the traditional way because al dente means that there's a one bit of pasta inside your pasta shape which is not cooked and give it this nice bite when you say pasta al dente uh, i'm afraid that we don't have it with that no yeah so i think thumb up thumb down i would say thumb like that i would go down down okay well i follow you baby down. <laughs> <laughs> down, down. okay I mean, honestly, yeah, every day you have to feed a family, you have a budget, go for it, but also reduce your portions and maybe experiment with taking it out of it earlier, I don't know. Mm. Not yet to say, we done two different kinds of pasta in two different quantities of water and it worked exactly the same. Yes, it did. Didn't yes. make any difference. Very different. So, I mean, uh, we thought we'd do different pasta, different pots, but actually these two experiments, they completely close the subject. That's uh, completely don't talk now, finished. <laughs> but pasta is still a relatively cheap family dish. Yeah, especially in Italy, it doesn't cost very much. And in, uh, outside Italy, still, uh, you can buy a packet of pasta and feed three, four people easily. Well, I just come back from the UK and even there with pasta, at a ridiculously high price it's still everything else is such a high price a fairly good way to feed your family yeah and also a tasty way to feed your family <laughs> indeed so experiment see what you think okay but for me it's a no okay well i agree with you i also want to add uh, another couple of things uh, um i went through the scientific uh, papers online to find out what happened saucepan when we cook in the pasta and I found out that uh, at 60 degrees Celsius the starch uh, starting gelling so become like a gel in the pasta and uh, at the higher temperature something like 80 degrees 78 degrees so from 175 degrees Fahrenheit uh, the gluten uh, starts uh, coagulating that like clotting so in reality they this cooking falls all the chemistry in, in order precisely but the result is different i cannot tell you why and uh, the thing is that uh, the pasta cooking in traditional way tastes much better what do you think Celia? maybe there's a reason why people have always boiled their pasta i don't know i think the scientists should get on and uh, find out a uh, uh, solution for that since they've been so involved in this conundrum these days in this scientific uh, research on pasta so come on scientists find a solution to the problem we look forward to hearing from you ciao 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 thank you for watching the video and please do remember to subscribe these videos take a lot of making and if you subscribe if you enjoy the videos it helps us to help our friends so press the button subscribe and press the bell and to check your notifications you need to look at your youtube account thank you so much for your support it means so much to us